But first, James Radio Kennedy returned to his second home, T.L. Hanna High School, one last time tonight. The Anderson community and beyond had the chance to say goodbye before Radio's funeral happens tomorrow. A moving moment here when Radio's casket was brought around the T.L. Hanna football field, that same field where he could be seen almost every Friday night during football season. His casket was at McDougald Funeral Home to start the day. He was then taken by escort from the Anderson County Sheriff's Office to T.L. Hanna High School, where his visitation ended tonight at around 8 o'clock. It's a place where he touched so many and made an impact on an entire nation. Radio was brought into the main lobby of the school where hundreds lined up to see him. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax followed that procession from the funeral home and joins us now live at T.L. Hanna High School. Yeah, guys, not only was the line to see radio tonight out the door here at T.L. Hanna, but it seemed like everyone at the high school had their own really unique send off to give him. The fire department was parked right outside the front here with sort of a shrine on their hook and ladder truck, and he even got his very own ROTC salute. People I spoke to say it's a celebration because radio has finally graduated. Those who came to pay their respects Friday say they're blown away by the outpouring they've seen. Everyone loved him and loved what he brought. He brought people together, and I think that's the biggest impact I've seen this week. As Anderson, the state of South Carolina, and the entire country prepared to say farewell to James Radio Kennedy, his body was brought one last time to T.L. Hanna, where it all began. Awesome to see so many people come out and, you know, that he really impacted everybody. Danielle Brown at T.L. Hanna graduate was among those who came tonight and says he was always an 11th grader who held the heart of the school in his chest. If you see radio and you're having a bad day, I'm pretty sure you'll be feeling good because he was just always smiling, just good energy. Everybody really did love him around here. Radio was wheeled onto the football field late this afternoon where the procession circled and Amazing Grace played before finally being placed on the stage in the main theater. We've seen him from way back in 80, 1980 to 2013. Eddie and Candace Maddox ran track for nearby Pendleton decades ago. They say they would always see radio at every meet since he ran too. The same radio as you know him today. I mean, he was vivacious, um, a, a crowd pleaser. I mean, he brought the crowd to life when he would race. Even after his story took off, he was the same radio. Radio would tell you, I'm a movie star. And it was really always fun just to talk with them about that. And uh, he, he would gladly give you his audience. They say it's not so much a goodbye because his spirits will live on here forever. I say he finally graduated because he was always 11th grader and I feel like he's finally graduated and he's there with his mom. Such a sweet sentiment and tales like the Maddox's aren't really unique. We could have talked to any one of the hundreds of people. Everyone seems to have their very own radio story. And everyone I spoke to say that they do plan to be at the funeral tomorrow and are expecting people from all walks of life to attend. They say that's the beauty of radio. He brought everyone together regardless of whatever your standing was in this life. Later in the show, we will have more coverage from Anderson from Fox Carolina's Berkeley Cromer, who will give you more on his lasting legacy and the history behind how he became who he was. For now, in Anderson, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Oh, thank you, Matt. Radio is just so beloved. And Radio's funeral will be held tomorrow at the Anderson Civic Center. That begins at 2 o'clock. And many in the upstate are remembering Radio and the impact he made. Coming up at 1030, Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer talked to friends and family about how Radio's legacy will live on.